isn't just turkeys vote for Christmas, it's turkeys lathering themselves in cranberry sauce and shoving the stuffing up their own posteriors. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm grateful, as always, to the honourable gentleman for his characteristic charm. Um, talk about performance today merely confirms, it seems to me, his obvious strategy, which is to set... This is Return Particulars and Removal of Penalties Bill Committee. Not moved. Not moved. Thank you. Order. Point order. Order. It's very rude for members. Order. 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 I say to the Chancellor of the Duchy that when he turns up at our children's school as a parent, he's a very well-behaved fellow. He wouldn't dare behave like that in front of Colin Hall, and neither would I. Don't gesticulate, don't rant, spare us the theatrics, behave yourself, be a good boy, young man, be a good boy. Point of order, Mr Ian Blackford. Thank you. Uh, yes, we know the theatrics that he perfected at the Oxford Union. Not interested, not interested. Be quiet! Point of order, Mr Ian Blackford! But there's only one chlorinated chicken that I can see in this house, and he's on that bench. Will he confirm again? Will he confirm? Order! It's very difficult to hear the responses from the Prime Minister. Members must calm themselves. There is a long way to go. If we have to go on longer because people sitting on the Treasury bench are yelling to try to disrupt, so be it, we'll go on longer. Some people used to believe in good behaviour. I believe in good behaviour on both sides of the House. It had better happen or it will take a whole lot longer. Very simple, very clear. Well, has the Right Honourable and Learned Member the leave of the House? Uh, can I just say, and I, well, whether I can or not, I'm going to. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing in these matters. So do we. And I do know the standing orders, <laughs> and I do listen to the advice. Sometimes you get these pop-up characters who think they understand these matters on the basis of minimal familiarity with the said standing orders and presume to say that the rules have been broken. They are entitled to their opinions, but they suffer from the notable disadvantage of being completely wrong. I know what the rules are and what they allow, and this is absolutely in keeping with the standing orders. If there are people who don't like the subject matter and would prefer it not to be aired and judge that it's inconvenient, they're perfectly entitled to their view, but it's got nothing to do with the procedural propriety. Don't tell me, young man, from a sedentary position what I can and can't say. If you're not interested, leave the chamber. I'm not remotely interested in your petty-fogging objection chanted inelegantly from a sedentary position. The position is as I've described it, and quite frankly, young man, you can like it or lump it. The Right Honourable Gentleman has obtained the leave of the House. The Right Honourable Gentleman has obtained the... I mean, the people will understand that, as far as the Speaker is concerned, his job is to stand up for the rights of the legislature. I never have been, am not, and never will be in the business of being bossed around by some footling member of the executive branch. The Shadow Education Secretary says that their economic policy is, and I quote Mr Speaker, by your leave, sh or bust. I say, I say it's both. I say it's both, Mr Speaker. It is. I don't require any assistance from you, Mr Stevenson. You wouldn't have the foggiest idea where to start in seeking to counsel me on this important I require no response from you. I require no
you will not be missed. Please do your job. I was already. I had made the point. I had already made the point. People have the manners to listen, which they haven't. The right. uh, honour that, that I will play my part. Now, there's been a lot of talk about democracy tonight, and the Leader of the House, who I have to say, with his body language throughout this evening, has been so contemptuous of this House sit and up, of the people. Up, and for the benefit up, of Hansard, the Leader of the House has been spread across around three seats, lying out uh, as if that was something very boring for him to listen to tonight. Well, can I just say to him, when he has been lecturing us about democracy, we will have none of it, because... Yeah, this yeah. government has no mandate for the vicious form of Brexit it is pursuing. It was never on the ballot paper. More than that, the right honourable member for Surrey Heath said as Just following on the comments from the member for Brighton Pavilion, I'm sure it might be possible to provide the Leader of the House with a pillow to make him more comfortable as he seems to be struggling during this debate. I rise to support the, uh, the right honourable member for West Dorset. We have a, a simple... Put up or shut up. And the choice for this country is who do they want doing that deal? This government or that Labour Party led by Jeremy Corbyn? Yeah, you know, we don't name people in the chamber. People must observe the rules. No, no, or, order. 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 I am simply and politely informing the Prime Minister of the very long established procedure with which everybody, including the Prime Minister, must comply. That's the position. No doubt, no argument, no contradiction. End of the matter. Dame Cheryl Gillan. Mr Speaker, the Lords who are authorised by Her Majesty's Commission to declare to declare her royal assent to acts passed by both houses and to also declare the prorogation of parliament desire the presence of this honourable house Realize? no no, no. no. In this matter. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh, I couldn't care less whether you like it or not. No, no, I'm, I'm more than happy if people have got the basic tolerance and manners to listen, they'd hear. I'm perfectly happy, as I have advised others, to play my part. Where I comp- it's nothing disorder. I don't require advice on order from you, Mr. Stewart. You're a master of disorder, man. Mr. Stewart, if you don't like it, you're perfectly entitled to your view. I couldn't give a flying flamingo what your view is. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your job, which you're handsomely paid. Yeah. Yeah.